Welcome to you know. It takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way, which contains 100 billion stars and is billions of years old. For the past few decades, the Milky Way and its neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, have been on a high-speed collision course. Scientists initially predicted this collision would occur in a few billion years, but recent findings from the James Webb Telescope indicate they were mistaken. The James Webb Telescope has sent a startling signal back to Earth, revealing that the collision has already commenced. Scientists are now sounding the alarm and preparing for the impact of this intergalactic collision. The Milky Way galaxy is a vast collection of stars, planets, and constellations located in the Virgo supercluster. It encompasses our planet Earth and is one of the oldest galaxies in the universe. To locate the Milky Way in the night sky, one should gaze toward the constellation Sagittarius. Though its galactic center may appear faint, all the stars visible from Earth belong to the Milky Way. The Milky Way's rapid rotation causes it to form a spiral disk shape, with young stars like our Sun residing on its outer edges. Initially, Scientists had limited knowledge about the Milky Way due to constraints in scientific instruments. However, advancements in telescopic technology, pioneered by astronomers like Galileo Galilei in the 17th century, revealed that the Milky Way was not merely a band of light encircling Earth but a vast collection of celestial bodies. Galileo's observations challenged the prevailing belief that the Milky Way was the entirety of the universe, sparking a revolution in our understanding of cosmology. Subsequent discoveries, such as those made by Edwin Hubble in the early 20th century using the Hooker telescope, further expanded our knowledge. Hubble's observations led to the realization that nebulae, previously thought to be part of the Milky Way, were separate galaxies, with Andromeda being the closest to us. Although astronomers noticed Andromeda as early as the 10th century, it was not recognized as a galaxy due to technological limitations. Persian astronomer Al-Rahman al-Sufi was among the first to observe Andromeda, describing it as a small cloud. Over time, advancements in telescopes and scientific understanding led to the recognition of Andromeda as a distinct galaxy. The name Andromeda was not bestowed upon the galaxy until the 19th century. Prior to this, it was referred to simply as M31. This designation reflects the continuous evolution of our understanding of the cosmos, driven by relentless pursuit of knowledge and technological innovation. Even though the name has been changed to Andromeda for quite some time, you might still come across the designation M31 in certain space journals. For a significant period, scientists believed Andromeda to be much larger than the Milky Way, an assumption based on its apparent size when observed from Earth. However, with the advent of advanced instruments like the James Webb Telescope, Scientists gained a clearer perspective and realized that Andromeda isn't significantly larger than the Milky Way. In fact, thanks to James Webb, scientists discovered that the Milky Way is much more massive than initially thought. Galaxies are vast and constantly evolving systems, making it challenging to precisely determine their mass. Various components, including stars, planets, dust, and dark matter, contribute to a galaxy's mass. Despite the detailed observations made possible by instruments like James Webb, accurately measuring Andromeda's mass remains elusive. However, such instruments enable scientists to study Andromeda in unprecedented detail. Andromeda is approximately 2.5 million light-years away from Earth. While this distance may seem immense, it is relatively close in cosmic terms. Considering the vast size of both Andromeda and the Milky Way, their close proximity isn't the only thing that makes Andromeda special. It shares several similarities with the Milky Way. Despite being younger, Andromeda is nearly as massive as the Milky Way, measuring 220,000 light-years across compared to the Milky Way's 100,000 light-years. Scientists estimate Andromeda contains around 1 trillion stars, significantly more than the Milky Way's 400 billion stars. Additionally, Andromeda harbors a supermassive black hole at its center, about 110 million times heavier than our Sun. This black hole, the active galactic nucleus of Andromeda, emits substantial amounts of light and radiation. Another remarkable feature of Andromeda is its globular clusters, dense groups of stars formed over billions of years. 
Andromeda boasts around 400 globular clusters, each containing thousands to millions of stars. Despite appearances, if the Milky Way and Andromeda were to collide, the Milky Way might not necessarily suffer more damage. This is due to the presence of dark matter, which surrounds our galaxy in a vast cloud measuring up to 2 million light-years across. Although dark matter is invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects, it plays a crucial role in the evolution and structure of the universe. Scientists have given the cloud of dark matter surrounding the Milky Way the nickname Dark Matter Halo. Andromeda also possesses its own dark matter halo, although it is considerably smaller. Dark matter, like regular matter, has mass. While the visible masses of stars and the supermassive black hole in Andromeda might suggest it outweighs the Milky Way, the presence of the dark matter halo makes the two galaxies almost equal in weight. Therefore, in a hypothetical cosmic clash, it is challenging to predict which galaxy would emerge victorious. Andromeda has a unique history of galactic interactions, believed to result from several smaller galaxies merging over time. These collisions, occurring billions of years ago, led to the expulsion of stars and the dispersion of stardust. Andromeda's many globular clusters are thought to have formed due to this cannibalistic nature. Similarly, the Milky Way has also engaged in galactic cannibalism, having absorbed around 12 smaller galaxies during its existence. Galactic collisions and mergers are part of the natural evolution of the universe. Scientists have identified two small galaxy clouds that the Milky Way will likely consume in the future. Previously, it was thought that this galactic consumption would precede the collision with Andromeda. However, data from the James Webb Telescope indicates that the intergalactic clash will happen sooner than anticipated. When the Milky Way collides with Andromeda, one might imagine a cataclysmic event with stars and planetary bodies smashing into each other, causing explosions and releasing gases and stardust. However, the reality is more nuanced. Despite the apparent density of galaxies, there is still a significant amount of empty space between stars and planets. Consequently, during the collision, there will likely be little to no direct collisions between celestial bodies. Instead, stars and planetary bodies from both galaxies will fill the voids of the other with minimal actual impact. The merger will lead to the formation of a new galaxy, potentially transitioning from spiral to elliptical in shape. Elliptical galaxies have a smooth, ellipsoidal shape and are less common than spiral galaxies. The collision may also result in the formation of a mega black hole at the core of the newly merged galaxy, akin to the active galactic nucleus in Andromeda. In summary, the collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda will reshape both galaxies, leading to the formation of a new elliptical galaxy with unique characteristics influenced by the merger. As the merger progresses, one notable outcome will be the formation of a supermassive black hole resulting from the amalgamation of several massive black holes. This interaction could generate intense radiation capable of obliterating everything within a vast radius. Earth's survival in the face of this galactic clash is uncertain. Despite our solar system's location in the Orion Arm, approximately 27,000 light-years from the galactic center, the trajectory and speed of the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way will heavily influence its impact. Simulations have produced varying scenarios, with some depicting the Milky Way being drawn into the center of Andromeda, while others show a side-to-side -side merger. Each outcome would profoundly affect our solar system's fate, potentially altering weather patterns, climate, and even the stability of our solar system. The gravitational forces unleashed during the merger will induce chaotic phenomena, causing stars and planets to shift out of orbit, forming new clusters and superclusters. This upheaval will release gases and radiation, potentially resulting in environmental damage, habitat destruction, and the emergence of new threats, such as pandemics. If the galaxies collide center to center, our solar system could be pulled into the supermassive black hole at the merger's core. However, the likelihood of such a scenario is low. Regardless of the outcome, we cannot escape the consequences of the collision. However, if we miraculously avoid direct harm, we may witness the cosmic spectacle from afar, observing the formation of new constellations and celestial phenomena. The cosmic timescale vastly differs from our human perspective, 
with a collision likely taking millions of years to complete. While we may not be around to witness its conclusion, it is crucial to study and understand this cosmic event for future generations. NASA and other experts are diligently monitoring the collision using simulations and instruments like the James Webb Telescope, preparing for the cosmic wonder unfolding before us. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to explore more captivating videos like this one by clicking on the screen.